Consumer advocates and parents say IKEA is not doing enough to get dangerous recalled furniture out of homes. They say IKEA dressers are linked to at least 10 deaths due to tip over accidents. CBS News's Hillary Lane reports. He was just joy. That's every day. Wake up, first thing, laughing, smiling. Crystal Ellis holds on tight to memories of her son Camden. In 2014, the two-year-old was killed. It's believed he leaned on a drawer of his IKEA dresser and it tipped over. My husband found him underneath his dresser and not breathing. And I can still hear the sounds of my husband screaming. After several more deaths, IKEA recalled nearly 30 million of the mall models in 2016. Government officials later showed how the dressers can fall. To this day, three years later, many families I've spoken to, even knowing our story, have no idea there was a recall issued. On Thursday, Crystal joined other parents and consumer advocates in New York. The groups claim millions of the dressers are still in homes, and at least one child died since the recall. They want IKEA to do more. They've got a huge marketing and media powerhouse uh, that they could be tapping to reach all of the consumers that have these recall dressers in their homes. They could be doing a lot more. In a statement, IKEA tells CBS News in part, through digital media, national advertisements, videos, brochures, emails, coworker training and services, customers have been and continue to be made aware of the recall. The company says it also provides anchors so furniture can be secured to a wall. He was a watcher and a listener. Crystal raises awareness about tip over danger through an advocacy group she helped start after her son's tragic death. I want him to know that I'm doing everything I can to protect every, every kid. And she hopes no other parents have to go through what she has. Hillary Lane, CBS News, New York.